Hello, YouTubers. Um, I'm sitting here, cuddled up. It's Christmas Eve here in Sweden, but we're not really celebrating today. We're celebrating tomorrow instead. Uh, the, the, the topic of today is uh, gender queer, actually, since it's a topic that's high, that that's high, that's important to me. Uh, I. Those of you that have followed me for a while have seen my uh, transition videos and stuff like that. Uh, but <laughs> sorry, my friend is sitting at Tumblr and uh, <laughs> I can't help but see the colors. Um, <laughs> um, I just want to take the time to explain a couple of things for those who's confused about me when I'm not confused and whatever. And just talk about it in general. Uh, well, I don't really say that I'm gender queer, I just say gender bender. Uh, I have those days where I feel like, oh hell yeah, I'm the queen of the world, I'm the sexiest ever, no one can ever compete with me. Would you stop it? <laughs> I'm squealing, okay? Squeal all you want! <laughs> There's red pandas on Tumblr. <laughs> and they're fighting or playing or whatever. Uh, but I have days where I'm like, oh hell yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup, I'm gonna fix my hair, I'm gonna fix everything. And then I have days like, where the fuck is my chest binding? I want shirts and baggy jeans. I have those days. But um, it's easier to just say that. I don't care. I'm doing the brander. I don't care. Because lately I figured out that I really don't. I just... Sure, my... Those... I have friends that only know me as a male. So they keep saying he and him and whatever. And then I have my family and some of my older friends. They say uh, her and use my old name and stuff like that but I don't care I really 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 don't care uh, so I'm comfortable with being gender bender I'm finally comfortable with being who I am because I feel like I don't have to righteous myself to anyone uh, and then I want to say congratulations to a very very dear friend of mine you know who you are, sweetheart. Like I said, Mikasa is Ukasa. Um, but she just told her parents that she's gender queer, and they took it really, really, really well. And I'm just so happy for you. Just you wait. Next time we meet, I'm gonna huggle you till you die. Okay, maybe not. But I'm gonna huggle you and snuggle and cuddle. <laughs> but yeah, you're stuck with me when we meet. But I'm really, really proud of you for doing it. And I'm really happy that you have the parents you have that they understand you. And uh, she actually wanted me to talk about how emotionally draining it is to go from that girly girly, yes, I love this, to just hating yourself. And uh, it sucks big time. Uh, in the beginning, uh, when I was just confused, 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 didn't know what I thought, what I was supposed to feel, uh, I could go from wearing short skirts and high heels and uh, feel totally fine loving it. And then I could just flip and be like, no, fuck. This makes me feel like shit, I have to change. And it's so emotionally draining that after a while you can't do anything because you don't have the energy because constantly flipping between this is emotionally draining and uh, sure a lot of people have these moments when they grow up sorry i'm having a quick because oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> but Everyone has these moments when they grow up in life where they go through, I hate having hiccups, 
where they go through a really, really girly period. At least us cis girls <laughs> usually have those where we have a really, really, really girly period. And then we usually, not all of us, but we usually have a butch period where we only want to be a guy. And uh, imagine flipping through that in a matter of seconds. It sucks and it hurts and you just get so tired because you get so confused and you don't know what to think about yourself. I mean, Mikael, Groot, I, you must have grown tired of me being confused constantly. Oh god, yes! <laughs> Yeah. We have a period right now where we don't like my ex at all. He's basically my ex. Yeah, he's our ex. <laughs> <laughs> but and uh, so it's just it gets annoying and you just get so hurt and the confusing starts eating you from the inside and you get so depressed that you really don't want to live anymore. So Hedda, I'm so proud of you, little sister, for finally getting the courage to stop. I'm proud of you, I love you, and I will always be here for you. If you feel that you need to talk to someone and actually talk, talk, you can call me. I don't care that I hate talking to you on the phone. I will talk to you. I'm always there for you in text message or uh, even on email. I'm always there for you, okay, sweetheart? That goes for anyone that sees this. If you need someone to talk to and you don't know who you should turn to, you can always talk to me, because I'm pretty understanding. I've gone through a lot, so I'm pretty understanding when it comes to this stuff. But... Gender queer. Gender bender. You should label yourself, or not label yourself, you should do what it is you feel like you want to do. What makes you feel the most comfortable? That's what you should do. That's what you should stick to. It's a pain in the ass being confused. But it gets better. It does. When you decided that you... If you're a gender bender, or you're gender queer, or you're a... You don't have a gender. You're like, nah, fuck it. Then it's like, fine. If it makes you happy, do it. But... It's a struggle finding out who you are. Everyone goes through it. It's a real struggle, I know. But the ones who do, they're strong. And they get stronger during their fights. So if you ever need to talk to anyone, I'm right here. So, bye-bye for now. See you soon. Bye!